Whoa, hey, how's it going, brother and sister? Slip sliding away and it's golden today, eh? Bless up for the gift that is today. Not a bad view. Much nicer out here, I'll tell you. Just want to share this little short video with you. Conversation that took place in the middle of February. Make of it what you will. Have a beauty day, eh? Certainly have done this with it by phone call, but it's fine. It's good to see you again. Oh, well, it's, good it's, to see a, you. it's a nice day for a drive. It's always a good day for a drive, <laughs> good or bad. They're, sure. they're each a gift. Can yeah. I ask you a serious question? Uh, well, just for a moment, just for a moment. Most definitely. Um, you've been my doctor pretty much since you got here. Sure. Right, like at least eight years. Uh, seven and a half. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I've been really open with myself with you, and let you know what my lifestyle is, and you know the good sure. and the bad and so forth. Sure. And you know that I I've made a concentrated effort over the course of most of my adult life to be as healthy as possible. I agree. Yeah. Okay. Um, and in the last, say, two years, when I've had to come and see you, I've also came and presented uh, just uh, my perception of things and had a good dialogue with you. Sure. Right? I had a question come up in my brain the other day, and I just yeah. thought, I'm going to have to fucking ask it all. Sure. Knowing how health-based I am, Health-based. Like, yes. like health-based I am and the lifestyle that I lead. And considering the severity of the world situation the last couple of years because sure. of illness, yeah. I found it a surprise that you didn't pro-offer me something. In what way? Well, we're, we're told that the way to get out of this is by this, right? By the... by. An inoculation injection. Fair enough. Yeah. That, that's what, that's what's being said. Yep. And I thought, well, shit, Rob knows I'm really into health and wellness and I want to live a long, healthy, productive life. How, cause, how come he hasn't said, hey, Buddha, you should you know, make sure you get vaccinated? I was, I, I'm not trying to bridge any yeah. sort of thing or, 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 sure. or be disrespectful to you at all. I just thought, Rob knows I'm into health and wellness. And if this is the thing that they're promoting, so we can get back to being all healthy and normal, how come he hasn't even just said, hey, have you put any thought into it? Well, I know few people who has put so much, as much thought into it as you, right? I mean, you've got some uh, very firm opinions, you know. On but, but I'm always open. Bad, I'm always right? open into, you know, I'm flexible with, with yeah. knowledge that comes in. That's not just a block, a wall that goes, oh, no, you're 100% wrong. Yeah. I'd rather see what you have to say, or not you, but see what the, the facts are and then do my own research and, and weigh what I feel yeah. with my personal bias because sure. I try to live my life with as little um, drug interaction as possible. If I get a headache, I don't take an aspirin, sure. that kind of shit. Um, but uh, that's a complicated question for many reasons, but part, partly, the I think the main couple of reasons why I haven't picked up the phone or called you and say, hey, have you thought about this or that? is that we expect people to um, partner in their health, right? And I've got no concerns that, especially with COVID and the controversies over the vaccine and everything, that people are not as well informed as they want to be or as they consider themselves to be. So I think me calling you up or calling people in my clinic up and say, I think I recommend the vaccine. Um, I think that is not a effective use of time or resources okay. because you have very you have you can you, you you are informed right you are very very much informed well on the well, pros and the cons right i am but then again i'm not a healthcare professional sure. it'd be like me saying uh, expressing how to live a healthy lifestyle well if you eat this way and you exercise sure. in this manner sure. you'll improve your health and wellness but you know, unless sure. I have some sort of doctorate that no. says I can say that, people won't take me for seriously. For, for, for me, the, the tragedy of COVID is that it is politicized oh. beyond, and the health message underneath, I think, is getting lost. I mean, you're not expecting me to call you up and say, Buddha, you're over the age of 50, you need to come and have a colonoscopy. When last have you had a skin exam? Another decent view, eh? So I stopped this simply because my question I could see he was making my doctor a bit uncomfortable. I wasn't trying to put him on the spot, but I just wanted to... I was trying to direct him somewhere so that I could ask him something. And I was going to ask him about this piece of paper here. 
This is a informed consent disclosure of information from the Canadian Medical Protective Association, the CMPA. It's a non-profit organization, association I should say, incorporated by an Act of Parliament found in 1901. Uh, you can find this on their website, it's a sample and you can print it off for any medical procedure or uh, medication they want to give you. You can have them sign off of it informed consent and I've talked about this before so my whole questioning was to lead my doctor to this point but he was getting so uncomfortable that I didn't feel right asking him. 